Hey everyone, I'm Dominic and this is Software Without Code. Today we're going to be issuing our own cryptocurrency and it's only going to take a few minutes. We won't have to write a single line of code. Before we start, the short oversimplified description of blockchain is that it's a decentralized digital ledger that records things in a, in a way that requires most people on the blockchain network to agree. Uh, to agree on the record, that is. And when the majority of people agree on it, it's considered legitimate. I'm keeping this explanation short purposefully because I hope this and future blockchain videos will better explain the technology than my words alone can. Issuing a cryptocurrency is just one application of blockchain technology as, and as a result there are countless other ways to use blockchain systems. You can use them as voting systems, tracing goods in the supply chain, pub public land registry and many more. And though there are tons of possible applications, the irony is that it's actually difficult to justify building uh, most applications with blockchain technology, as opposed to doing it the traditional way. Uh, the traditional way meaning a company or individual controls a single server that people access in a controlled fashion. And the reason for that is blockchain technology just hasn't had the opportunity to really establish itself yet. Uh, but we're going to go more into more details about blockchain technology in future videos. So for now, just sit tight. We'll get our feet wet by issuing a crypto token on top of the Waves blockchain. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go to wavesplatform.com. You'll see here in the URL bar. A uh, link will also be in the description of this video. So if you just want to watch it first before you do anything, uh, feel free to just keep let the video keep going. They have an online client and a desktop client. So in this video, I, I will be using the desktop client uh, for a Windows machine. Uh, though this will obviously work on Mac and Linux, uh, though you can probably follow along in the online client. In all honesty, I don't know because I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I recommend downloading the desktop client. It's probably more secure. And so that's what we'll be using. So I have downloaded and installed the application and launched it here. Uh, this is what you should see after doing all the previous steps. So now let's hit the get started button and create an account. So I'm intentionally not going to be blurring any of the secrets for this account that I create because uh, it's just a dummy account. It will never hold any, any, any cryptocurrency or coin. I'll actually be using another account to issue the token, one that I've already created on another computer. So let's, with that in mind, let's keep this. Let's keep going. So first, you'll choose your avatar. It doesn't really matter. We'll just pick a random one. We get an account address. Uh, keep the account on this computer. S sounds like a smart choice if you own the computer you're using or if it's a computer you regularly use, but if you share the computer with other people, you might not want to select this. Use your own discretion. We'll hit continue. So let's call this account SWC Dominic. Protect the account with a new password. So I'm gonna just type in a password. Okay, and now that I've entered my password and uh, confirmed it. Let's hit continue. No backup, no money. You must save the secret phase. It's crucial for accessing your account. So uh, let's do that. Let's back it up now. Treat your backup phrase with care. So basically, um, this allows access to your account. Uh, what they're calling uh, the seed. It's it's a phrase you'll see with a whole bunch of words. Uh, here it is. And again, I'm intentionally leaving mine uh, visible in this video because I won't be using this account for anything. Uh, however, you, when you create this, should not dis show this to anyone. Um, certainly not put it in a YouTube video like I'm doing now. So anyways, let's uh, copy them. The data is copied, and I'm just going to open a notepad, a blank notepad. It's in my other screen, just to have the words copied down somewhere. So you'll confirm the phrase on the next screen. I've written it down. Great. So I have the phrases in a notepad file over here just in my other monitor and I'll be entering the phrases confirming them on the left damp buzz cool all right so we've entered all the phrases it takes a few seconds uh, let's confirm done all right so now these are things to be aware of my, you know, they obviously want you to agree to certain terms, and you know, I understand my funds are held securely on this device, not by a company. I understand that if this app is moved to another device, my ways can't come and be recovered with the back phrase. Yep. 
And uh, this one seems optional. I would like to improve the ways of sending anonymous usage statistics to developers. Normally, I, I, I do check that one, yes, but I'm going to leave it off just to sh show and prove to you that it is optional. Confirm and begin. Great. So you'll see uh, this beautiful, actually, UI uh, with a bunch of different cryptocurrencies, including fiat currencies like the US dollar. And we can, we can see uh, some more information about the currency by clicking on it. So we will be purchasing some waves because we need to actually purchase some waves crypto coin in order to issue our our own crypto token we're issuing our token on top of the waves blockchain uh, we won't be touching any of these other cryptocurrencies so you can you can safely ignore them every transaction on a blockchain costs some amount of currency so for waves it's about uh, two two waves tokens to to create your own token uh, but how do you get how do you get waves? Well, it's actually really simple, and I'll show you really quick. You hit this receive button at the top of your screen. Then you'll see uh, four tabs at the top. Uh, I use card, so it'll allow me to use like a Visa or Mastercard or whatever to get the currency. Uh, you also can do bank transfers uh, unless you're from the U.S. And another option would be potentially sending yourself or someone else an invoice to. Give, uh, pay for your Waves assets and then yeah so once that's done you'll have some Waves tokens and let's cut ahead to the account where I've, I've already done that. Hey now that I've switched accounts and I've got my account that has about 9.5 Waves uh, Waves coin here uh, we can now create our we can now create our token and it's only going to take about 30 seconds so on the left side menu it's this third button down here and we'll name the asset we'll call SWC coin Description, official token, of software without code. Uh, in terms of reissuability, so first the total tokens, uh, one comment is it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to do 100 million. And the only reason for that is because it's more fun when you send or receive, say, a thousand tokens rather than 0.1 of a token. So, you know, with a hundred million, uh, it allows larger amounts of tokens to be worth less overall. Well, they're worth nothing, so it doesn't really matter anyways, but it's just more fun to have more tokens. So in terms of reissuability, I'm going to make it not reissuable. It, it doesn't really matter, but if you make yours reissuable, just know that that means that you can add tokens to your supply after you you generate your your cryptocurrency so in other words it, though i'm putting 100 million here if i made it reissuable i could potentially issue another uh, amount like maybe a million or 100 million down the road so for decimals this is how many decimal points that it will divide the currency into uh, it says from zero to eight i'm just going to choose four it's just more fun that way so you can have like 0 0.0001 of a of a swc coin and yeah, so then we're ready. It's one Waves coin to create this, which is why I had to get Waves coins on this account, and you will also if you want to follow along. And let's generate. Not reissuable. Uh, TXID, one Waves fee. Yep, and so obviously there's a lot of fraud with ICOs. This, this token is worth absolutely nothing. It'll most likely always be worth nothing, so you know, you, it's just for fun. So let's hit send. Yay, transactions on the way. So, and it's completed. That was a very fast transaction. So here is the cool thing. If we go back to the wallet, you'll see we have one less waves coin. And if I go to portfolio, hit search, and I search for SWC coin, we'll see that it's right here. And so we issued it uh, successfully. Uh, yeah, cool. That is awesome. Uh, if you like some SWC coin, I mean, I'm not going to 
add any more waves coins to my account so if you'd like some just let me know i'll send you some you just have to leave your public address uh i won't obviously i won't send you any if i'm out of waves coin just keep that in mind thanks for watching feel free to hit the subscribe uh like button if you enjoyed this and i'll catch you again soon with my next video Thank you.